Good morning everyone, I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. It is Monday the 16th of October 2017 at about 11.45am. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the current situation uh, and the potential dangerous storm risk for development of heavy rainfall leading to flash flooding. Potential is a key word, risk is a key word. It's not guaranteed, but I just want to show you and explain to you uh, why we have issued such forecast possibilities. All right, currently this morning we have uh, a surface trough which has reached as far as 1770 there. It is stalled there through the area now and it is producing areas of moderate to heavy rainfall. Uh, that extends inland to about Miriam Vale up the top in the top uh, left hand corner. Uh, that trough also runs down through Bundaberg, Harvey Bay, Meribara, Gympie, down to about the Sunshine Coast. And you can see those, those areas of, of moderate to heavy rainfall feeding in from the ocean and then slowing down uh, once they reach land areas. It's, it's these slow down procedures or developments that we are, are closely monitoring uh, as these rain areas and thunderstorms, should thunderstorms develop, there's one just there near Fraser Island at the moment producing lightning. If they slow down, stop and become stationary, it is a very high risk of heavy rainfall leading to flash flooding. If they sit there for about three or four hours, you could get up to 500 mil very quickly. We're not saying it's going to happen, it's a heightened risk. I'll show you why. Right over here on the BSCH um, rainfall forecast from GFS, this model has been holding very, very high three hour precipitation rates and total rainfall rates in the vicinity from Bundaberg to the Sunshine Coast over the past three days. All it is doing is showing you the potential of what could happen. It's not a guarantee. But we're passing this potential risk area on in case it does. It's pretty simple. We're not all putting all our eggs into one basket either. Obviously anywhere from Rockhampton south to Brisbane, there are scattered showers and rain areas likely with moderate to heavy falls possible in it. But if one of these storms develop, it could really jack those totals up to 500 quickly. It's happened in the past, it'll happen again, and these systems are known to produce these dangerous thunderstorms. All right, so that, that's the current bullseye there, targeting GFS reckons at about from one o'clock from lunchtime today um, over that area. It may shift around a little bit. Um, you can see there out to, out to 10 o'clock tonight, Monday night, it's really targeting that Sunshine Coast um, to Wanton region, Gympie region, if you like. Now, it's not a guarantee. It could shift a little bit further south. We have put Brisbane out of it for now. And, of course, due to the current situation with the trough up here at 1770, anywhere from there down to the Sunshine Coast it is at potential risk of these very heavy thunderstorms developing. Now, that has a precipitation value. You can see down here in the bottom of the screen of 250 mils in three hours. Do it for another three, that's 500. Doesn't take much, all right? Let's drop a plot in there. I'll show you what an atmospheric plot looks like. This is a measurement of the atmosphere, a forecast measurement of the atmosphere. I'll explain it quickly. The, t the red line running up the middle of the screen is moisture levels. It is saturated from the ground to 40,000 feet. That's 100% humidity for 40,000 feet or 12 Ks. That's a lot of potential water in the atmosphere and a lot of potential rain, should it all drop. Over here on the right hand side, you've got the winds ripping it in from the, from the east, southeast. All right, as we can feel on the ground at the moment, it's certainly very, very windy up here on the Sunshine Coast hinterland. Very strong gusts. Now what this does is it rakes all this moisture, showers and rain areas in off the coast. You can see as you go up with height, the winds start to turn back to the north. So from 20,000 feet and above, the winds are from the north. All right. What can happen is these winds come in, feeding over land to a, to a, a, a rain area over land, and then because of the, the turning with height, the showers and rain areas start to rotate, and they start to become slow-moving and stationary, and they just sit there and dump a lot of rain in a short period of time. It's not a guarantee. It's a risk. Put the risk out there. Be transparent. Look, guys, this is what we're seeing on the models. This is what could happen. Being forearmed is being forewarned is being forearmed, and there's no harm in that. I've had a lot of people shit can our forecasts and page over the past 24 hours, and quite frankly, I couldn't give two shits. 
because you sit here and, and you go through the charts and you do a better effing job. All right. Now, this is the Windy EC model. Um, you can see these wind levels. I want to show you as well. This is at the surface. You can see them ripping in there from the, from the Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, all the way up to Bundaberg and right up there to 1770 now. Right, the, the, the lighter colours are green of strength, so light there, and then as you get in the red, really strong. As you go up with height on this model, this is four o'clock this afternoon, Monday afternoon. As you go up with height, you can see they're still ripping in up higher in the atmosphere from the east. Up here around Bundy, they're coming in from the northeast. Now, as you go up up to those other levels, I spoke to you about around 20,000 feet and a bit higher up, you see the winds come in from the north. Northeast, northwest. Now, see these pockets here of different colour? That is the wind speeding up, moving away from an area. What that does is, is cause increased uplift. So, all that moisture coming in goes up into the atmosphere, and, and the upper level winds rip away from that area, causing a suction like a vacuum cleaner. And up it goes, and it sits there because the wind's turning. They're coming in. It's called turning with height. And they come in at the low levels from the east. They go up. They spin around to the north. What happens? It sits there. It doesn't go anywhere. Can. But can happen. All right? Now, you go up here to the 300 winds, up a little bit higher. This is getting right up there to around 10,000 metres, um, 40,000 feet. And you can see, again, even the winds up that high are coming in from, from the north. Very, very moist. Speeding into the area around Bundaberg to Maroochydore. And then at slowing, so speeding into that area, then slowing down through that area and speeding up away. Again, what this causes is a vacuum effect, an enhanced area of lift in the atmosphere. We're not dumb. We don't just look at, at rain charts and go, yeah, you're going to get 500 mil. We're trying to explain the atmospherics and the setups in the technical side of forecasting so that you understand a little bit better. And some of the other knobs that, that rip into us understand that we're looking at forecast potentials here, not just a rain chart or a bullseye bomb on the, on the, on the models, all right? Okay, so that's the risks. I thought I'd run that video through and post it up really quickly. You can see it's trying to do it. It's constantly trying to develop that area of heavy rain that becomes slow moving around Gympie, Karoi, Tawantan this morning. While they keep moving in any direction, providing they're moving, the risk becomes a lot less for flash flooding. That's what we hope happens over the next 24 hours. They just keep moving. The issue be, remains there when they start to become slow moving and stationary. A bit like this stuff up here at 1770 in Miriam Vale at the moment. And from the northeast, you've got this, what we call an intravenous drip of, of moisture coming in from the northeast. Then you've got it coming in from the east. It's spinning, it's sitting there, and you can get a nasty thunderstorm develop under there and dump 500 mil flooding and, and the works and shit hits the fan. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that that helps explain to you why there is uh, potential for these systems to develop. Uh, in the atmosphere they're definitely not a guarantee by any means but when you've got a system sitting there like this that can do it we've seen it in the past put it out there say hey guys here's the risk this is what could happen be alert watch for live updates and warnings and stay safe that's it see you later